I'm Mark Flinders. I'm a physical therapist and an athletic trainer with Mountainland Physical Therapy out in Clinton. And today I'm going to go over a couple of exercises using our core muscles. We're going to be using the abdominal muscles and also the hip muscles, specifically two of our glute muscles, our glute medius and minimus, which help to control our hip motion. When we're running, it's really important that we have a strong core coming off of the hips, the glutes, and also the abdominal muscles so we stay up straight. The first exercise we're going to do is we're going to do some side planks, and these are designed to work the glute, medius, and minimus. Those muscles are used to help take our leg to the outside like so, but they're also really important in helping us to keep our pelvis nice and level. So as we're only standing on one foot, our right side of our glute muscles helps keep our pelvis level, otherwise this side would fall and we drag our feet. We're probably familiar with being behind people at the mall that walk and they, they lean clear over and they've got that lateral lean going on. That's the weakness in the glute medius and minimus and that's what we're going to be working on right here. So we're going to go over some side planks. I'm going to show you several different variations. You can start with the easy ones and work your way up to the harder ones, but we're going to start to work these muscles right here. So it's very simple. All you're going to do to do an easy one is you're going to start from a sideline position and you can do these on both sides. The first one you can do is you can have your knees bent and you're going to support yourself on your elbow right here and all you're going to do is using those muscles on that right side, you're just going to lift your hip up off the table. The easiest variation is with the knees bent and just up and down and you can repeat two or three sets of 10 to 15 reps on this. As those get easy, you can come into where you can give yourself a hold and you can do 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 second holds. As those get easy, the next progression is to go with the legs out straight. And again, you want to be propped on the elbow. And you can start with simple up and down side planks, working into again where you're up and you're holding, doing 5, 10, 15, 20 second holds. Another variation off that that you can work the top muscle, the top glute muscles at the same time, is to bring yourself up, do a little abduction, and bring yourself back down. And that way you're getting a little bit of muscle work on the opposite side as well. And it also creates more play on the underneath muscles because you're kicking with that top leg. So those are the side planks. Again, do each side. You can start with the easy ones with your knees bent, working up to where you have the legs straight, all the way up to where you have the legs straight, and doing that top leg kick up and down. So that works the, those work the glute medius and minimus on those hips. Next thing we're going to work is we're going to start to work the abdominal area right here. Abdominals are very important. Get them nice and strong, nice and tight. Keeps you up straight, prevents a, a hunched posture. It prevents you from getting off kilter, and so we want to work these abdominal muscles. Again, we're going to be doing a plank exercise. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting from what we call a prone position where you're down here. And the simplest way to do it, again, you can start with it from the knees and just lift your abdominal muscles, tighten those abdominal muscles and lift yourself up off the table. You can do just simple up and downs, like so, really squeezing those abdominals like you're trying to suck your belly button in towards your backside. You can work up and down here, working into again where you're just gonna do a hold. You can hold five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, working your way up. The next variation, is to come up onto your tiptoes and get yourself up into a whole position right here. Again, you can just do up and downs to start, working your way up to where you're getting those 10, 15, 20 second holds. Another variation of that is while you're doing your holding, just simply alternate knees touching, and that will work the abdominal muscles even harder. So those are just a couple of good exercises starting to work those glute medius minimus muscles to help with our hip abduction to keep ourselves up nice and straight and also the abdominal muscles trying to keep that core nice and solid so we have a good base of support to go off of. Start those, work on those every other day, working your way up to where you can do them daily, just continuing to progress as you work up and see if that doesn't make a difference in hip strength, abdominal strength, and a feeling of a better core stability. Thanks.